in order. Uh, the meeting is Monday, the August 14th, 2023 at 5 p.m. Those in attendance are uh, Kim Wilson, Jennifer Turner, and David Huggins. Uh, at this time, we'd like to have the Pledge of Allegiance and Prayer by Mr. Lisa Oaks. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lord, I thank you for letting us all be here tonight. Thank you for the great leaders in our community. Thank you for the people on this school board who care about us kids at the high school, middle school, and elementary school. Be with everyone as they go home tonight. In your name I pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Most approve the minutes of the uh, July 10th, 2023 meeting by Kenny Wilson, the second. Uh, Jennifer? Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And David? Yes. Approval of encumbrances. Okay, we have a lot of encumbrances. Uh, this is the time of the year we do all our blanket POs. Basically, it's kind of everything we spend every year, uh, different companies that just kind of roll over each year. So if you'll look, and I kind of want to go over some of the bigger ones, if you have any questions, go for that. Uh, like PO 17, that Stigler Municipal Improvement, that's our water bill, 52000 uh, That just kind of gets us through the year. Hopefully it won't be that much, but at least that'll be what we spent this year. PSO, 120500 That's the PO 22. Um, the next page, page 2. Um, same thing, these are all blanket POs. The one that's kind of, the PO52 to the line landing, that is our copy machine rental. That's that DLL Incorporated. Our, we actually have another one with advanced copier, but that's for the service agreement. So though we pay a rental and a service agreement, they're kind of two different companies. I, I always thought it was just that advanced copier. That's all the only one we deal with, but that advanced copier actually. Leases from the public. That's the uh, Hester County Assessor reports 43,000 there at PO 54. Let's see, let's see down through there. United System Renewal, that's for our monthly monitoring of fire alarms, that sort of thing. 970, that's for site licenses for IXL and Imagine Learning. 71, so good, just reimbursements for the year, if we need it. PO 75, Prosperity, that's for our OT, PT, Occupational Therapy, and Physical Therapy. We contract for that Prosperity Therapy. Starting at PO 83, that's for professional development, conferences, training, and that goes up to the next page on down to 89 or 92. Those are all reimbursements for nutrition training for 89, 91, 92. Uh, the PO 93 through 97, those are uh, DOs we put out for people getting physical. That's our bus drivers and our cooks. Anybody child nutrition, they have to get physical. That's four. Uh, you can see down through there, there's uh, Alpha Plus textbook. That's kind of a big one uh, for grade school. And then down through, we have more reimbursement for professional development. And, uh, some supplies if needed. Like I said, all these are all blankets, just kind of out there in case we need them. Uh, next page, more reimbursements for PD. You'll see some for supplies. Sharks, those are for uniforms for child nutrition. On down, PO 128, the will see the Lowe's as a new kitchen appliances out of the Carl Perkins funds. Those are uh, career tech, our career, tech our career tech programs. We ro rotate those around each year. This year it's for our family consumer sciences, and she was able to get some new kitchen appliances. So that's what PO 128 is and 131. 
fan of consumer science is Adam Carl Perkins. And the dream box learning, those are reading plus. We've got pretty good success with that at the high school and some middle schools doing that as well, and that's PO 138. 139 through 143, that's for the band, color guard, music, instruments, routines, and that sort of thing. And more, uh, the rewalker, that's reimbursement for uniform and physicals and just general supplies. So that is our general fund POs. Our next one is the encumbrances, the payroll encumbrances. Those are, those are for our 12 month employees and we've got them, if you see that PO 7000, 7021, I really like this, they're going to split up our contracted uh, amounts from our uh, as needed or time sheet, that's 8000. So this first one, 7001 for 7020 are our 12 month contracts. And starting at 8001, those are our timesheet covers. So that'd be like your ball game prep, cleanup, uh, substitutes, driver dead, any extra athletic duty, uh, just tutoring, anything out of federal programs, all that are blankets out of 8000, and those are for the year. For all those things. The next one goes into the building fund. And you can see there, like PO number two, that's where we did for the gym reseal repaint. Uh, PO one was for the structural integrity analysis. And that's the total cost that it actually is 3250 uh, PO three was concrete. They took some, put some concrete down to grade school for that awning will go. PO four is to the architect. PO5, 6, and 7 are all supplies for the repainting of the grade school main building. Repaint, reseal that. Uh, PO8 to Brady Industries, that's an industrial floor cleaner. Our other one is about 20 something years old. We can't replace one of those up and down the halls at the high school. Cleans it every night. And the next one are the dehumidifiers for each classroom in the uh, elementary school. That's, you know, remember our analysis of the air quality. One thing we'll just do is just too damp in there. So all that, each, each room has got a dehumidifier. And all of this will be out of federal and it'll be reimbursed. So we should, once we get that done, we'll get that reimbursed. Uh, next one's child nutrition program. And these are all blankets as well for different things. Like Cisco is a big one. That's where we get food from. Island dairy or milk, that's a big one. Electric, Benny Keith, Tankersley, those are all food. We've got Sunnies and Walmart down there, that's just for if they run out of something, they can run down and get it. Like buns or bread or something like that. Trash services, PO14. These we have to have. The PO19 is KTC distribution, that is for our third meal for those after school programs where we can. It's kind of a packaged meal. But that'll be a, I think that's going to be a good thing, so we're going to try that. That is child nutrition. The next one is our one 12 month employee out of child nutrition. That payroll coverage for Joe Farley, our child nutrition director. Next one, next page is our gifts funds, and this PO1 is for the Dale Parade Scholarship, PO2 is the Hollywood Henderson. So those are encumbered this month. And that is our encumbrances. Make more encumbrances. Most of the encumbrances by Kenny have the same by June for Kenny. Yes. see our payroll for up about 8,800. A lot of that 
difference is a little over 5,000 we paid our driver's ed in July this year instead of June. So the actual increase is about 3,800 and that's due to the raises. So you're going to see a lot of that this year and I don't know how much useful this will be this year, but our raises are going to cost the district about a little over 600,000 for the year. So each month's going to be, you know, at least 50,000 higher as we go through the year. But that's, that's the state minimum data raises. Of course, in September, we'll have that 7% for child nutrition. That'll bring it up about 8,000 for that. So that is our, that's going to be a big difference. Our bills for this month, we're down about 24,000. But also last year, we also bought carpet for about 31,000. So we didn't do that this year. So it's, we're down a little bit, but there's, you know, it's kind of hard to, each month's going to be a little bit different and different big things come in. But for the total for the year, so far, we're down about 16,000. Like I said, when that starts, when our big payrolls start hitting, it's going to start going. Hopefully, our, but our bills are something we can compare a little bit. There's going to be some variance month to month, but uh, I think it's still a pretty good report. To I'm not sure about the salary. It may work with something a little bit different on that after a month or two, but it'll give us an idea of kind of where we're at. Next one you see, we're about 2.3 million in our general fund. Uh, we got 87,000 in this month through our tax commission, through just some claims. We did not get our county four mill from the county. We're not sure, to be honest, what we're going to do about that, what the situation is. But we've got. I'll be working on that. We need we need that every month. It's not a huge thing. Last month or last year in July is about 32,000. The big one will be about January. We have to have it straightened out by then. Uh, next one, building fund, about 1.7 million. We should start getting our. Uh, uh, I said building fund is going to come like state aid and come every month this year. Or basically, it's the red bud fund we're, we're really talking about. Haven't seen any. Uh, well, Thursday we're supposed to get our first state appropriation, so we'll see what comes. In. But that'll increase that last. Help that quite a bit. Uh, next one, child nutrition, about 272,000. So we're doing good there. Hopefully, we can keep that up for as long as possible. That is our other financial reports. concerning agenda items in accordance with policy BED dash No one here for that. Information items. Superintendent's report. Okay, good thing. We've got the school year started. Teachers reported a week ago and students reported last Thursday, so we're excited to get kind of get a routine started. The after school program started today. That'll be a big there's been some you know congestion down there in the afternoon. This will help a little bit with that. I don't know what you see. Last year they had about 100, 120 kids participated. So that, hopefully that's going to help our congestion down there. Uh, fast pitch softball is well underway. They went to the Broken Arrow Tournament past weekend. They went 2-2 two two there. Their overall record is currently 4-2, doing well. Uh, two losses are from, to Owasso and Edmond Memorial, and they're ranked number one and two and six out of At the red and white game, football uh, Friday night, a pretty good turnout for that. Uh, first scrimmage will be Friday night with Pecola here, and the next game, first game is next Friday at Salisbury. So we just have one scrimmage. We've kind of done that last couple of years, and then there'll be like a bye week in there some kind of play on zero week. So the main thing, I'm really excited to get the year started and for the opportunity we have this year, we're ready to get into a routine. Okay. Action topics. Action topic A, consideration of approval of the Professional Development Committee for the 2023-2024 school year. Okay, this is the committee that kind of helps plan our professional development throughout the year. You see the list of members, and it's just something we have to improve, approve each year. Made a couple changes, uh, different parents stepping along. Motion that we approve the professional development committee for the 2023-2024 school year. Second. Motion. Second. Is 
motion by Jennifer, second by Kenny to approve the professional development committee for the 2023 24 school year. Jennifer? Yes. Kenny? Yes. Action topic B consideration of contract with Oklahoma State Board of Career Technology Education for vocational programs for the 2023 24 school year. And this is the contract for our career tech supplemental funds for our three career tech programs we have at the high school and middle school zone. Uh, that's ag education, family consumer science, and science, technology, engineering, and math for our STEM program. So if you look at that, uh, kind of that contract, you see project code 412. And that is, 412 is for supplies and other things that each, uh, each program may need throughout the year. last year was not fully funded this year we're funded so uh, each ag teacher gets the full 412 amount and the full, full 411 just like ag they're going to get 26,000 family super science eight and stem gets 9,500 net for supplies uh, the salary portion is the 411 and that's kind of a supplement their salary you'll see that ag's quite a bit higher but a lot of that's for their summertime employment because they are 12 months that's what that first, that 15,840 is for. Then down below that is the, during the year. So that is our contract with Career Tech. We promotion the uh, contract with Oklahoma State Board of Career Technology Education Education Program for 2023 2024. Motion by Ken, seconded by Jennifer to approve. The contract with Oklahoma State Board of Career Technology Education for vocational programs for the 2023-24 school year. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Action topic C. Indeed, yes. Uh, consideration of bids for Hayden and Connor Dan for the 2023-24 school year. Okay, we received two bids for this. The highest bid was $1,011 from Bumpers Construction, and I recommend we accept this bid. I make motion that we accept the bid from um, Bumpers Construction for the Connor Land. Motion by Jennifer to approve the bid with uh, Bumpers Construction for the hay at the Connor Land for the 2023 24 school year. The same by Kenny. Jennifer? Yes. Kenny? Yeah. And Dad gives. Consideration of meal process for the 23 24 school year. Okay, this is an increase of the full price by 10 cents for breakfast and lunch. And the, really the only reason we did that is because uh, the National School Lunch Program regulates the minimum price you can charge. And if you don't charge that amount, you have to raise it by 10 cents every year until you hit that. And currently, uh, with our increase of 10 cents, we put it 135 for a full breakfast. And the, currently, the minimum is 230 According to them, we're going to have to raise it 10 cents until we reach that. But we're just going to raise it 10 cents a year. And then the student lunch is now 235, and full pay there is minimum is 393. So we're just going to raise it 10 cents. But that's set by the National School Lunch Program. We just we have to increase by a minimum of 10 cents each year until we reach that cost. So we're going to go 10 cents. A time. Make motion that we accept the school meal prices for the 23 24 school year. Second. Motion by Kenny, second by Jennifer to approve the school meal prices for the 2023 24 school year. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And Lady Jackson. Yes. Consideration approval of FCCLA attending the Capital Leadership Training in Washington, D.C. on October 8th to the 13th of 2023. Students will be transported by school vehicle to the Tulsa Airport for a flight. Right, so there, this is for four students to go to Washington, D.C. And this is for leadership training for students to learn advocacy and leadership skills and meet with the nation's leaders. Uh, kind of one of the big reasons that we wanted to do this. We've had several students apply for national offices within the Family Consumer Science Organization and they didn't get
get the position, and when you send that in, they'll send back a kind of a, you know, what what do you need? What's lacking in your application? And one of the big reasons they don't attend uh, national conferences. And so this one and the next one uh, is kind of reason. One of the big reasons for this, number one, and number two, it would be great for these kids to get out and see see some things like that. Uh, so we would like to allow these students that opportunity to participate in these leadership conferences. What did you say it was going to cost you? It's a twelve hundred dollars per student. They're taking four members, and they'll be raised by all these funds will be raised by SCC. That question that you referred for the SCC SCC did the capital leadership training in Washington D.C. on October eighth through thirteenth, twenty twenty-three. Second. Motion by Jennifer Sayer McKinney to approve the FCCLA attending a capital leadership training in Washington, D.C. on October 8th through the 13th, 2023. Students will be transported by school vehicle to Tulsa Airport for flight. Jennifer yes. McKinney yes. and David Yes. Consideration of FCCLA attending the National Fall Conference in Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama on November 9th through the 13th, 2023. Students will be transported by charter bus. Okay, this is another national conference. It will be four different students. Uh, and this is similar to leadership training and opportunities, and they will be transported by charter bus with other groups to go to Alabama. We want to recruit the SCCLA attending the National Fall Conference in Birmingham, Alabama on November the 9th through the 13th, 2023. Motion by Kenny, seconded by Jennifer, to approve the FCCLA attending the National Fall Conference in Birmingham, Alabama on November 9th and 13th, 2023 for this, and for the students to be transported by charter bus. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And David? Yes. Consideration of the option or revision of the following school board policies. Number one, school board three. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Consideration of approval of high school band trip to Orlando, Florida from May 13th to 17th, 2024. Students will be transported by charter bus or airplane. Yeah, this is for the trip the band takes every other year, kind of their big trip. So they're trying to get some early approvals so they can start that fundraising efforts. Second. Motion by Jennifer, second by Kenny to approve the high school band trip to Orlando, Florida from May 13th to 17th, 2024. The students will be transported by charter bus for everyone. Jennifer? Yes. Kenny? Yes. And David? Yes. School board policies. Number one, school board security drills, aka AD. One more time. We can do all of them. One at a time. Okay. This first one, it just changes. It used to be instead of four security drills, you would say two lockdown and two intruder drills. So what, what's happening is you're getting confused with a lockdown as an intruder, what we do different. And so now what kind of been the recommendation that we have four security drills. So the only thing we're changing really is, is four security drills instead of two lockdown and two intruder drills. Kind of eliminate some of the confusion. We have most of the intruder safety drills. Motion by Kitty, second by Jennifer to approve the school safety drills. AKHD, Kenny, yes. Jennifer, yes. and David, yes. Number two, safety drills, AKC, I mean CKC. I think this one is This one, this one. Because it what it did, it basically said every step you would do. And we're not, we're not, everybody's not 
every school is different. Every school is going to have something a little bit different. And we don't want one set policy, so that's why that one has changed. Okay, so should, we should be on child nutrition and physical fitness. Right, right. Okay, number two, child nutrition physical fitness program, school wellness. Okay, the only change we're doing here is we're taking out specific names, like it said, what it said first was Superintendent Monty Guthrie with him. So we took out the specific name and put superintendent instead of the names of the coordinators for the wellness coordinator each side we just put, put the list of wellness coordinator by principal not the specific name otherwise we have to change it every time the person changes and remember it changes every time the person changes so that's the only difference there. Okay. Motion by Jim, first second by Kenny to approve the child nutrition and physical fitness program, school wellness policy. Jennifer? Yes. Kenny? Yes. And David? Yes. Three, uh, maternity leave. Okay, this is a new policy, that new law that uh, they came out with, but basically this is provide six weeks of maternity leave for female employees employed for at least one year or 1,250 hours and six weeks will be immediately following the birth of the child for the next six weeks. So it's not like they just get it. If it's in the summertime, they can take it the first of the year. It starts the day after they have the, have the baby. The next six weeks, they can take maternity. Take most of the maternity leave policy. Motion by Kenny, second by Jennifer to approve the maternity leave policy. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And David, yes. Number four, family medical leave. Okay, this just includes maternity leave as uh, one of the types of leave that must be exhausted before they're placed on unpaid family leave. So we had to add maternity leave in, so it's a new leave. Okay. Motion by Jennifer, second by Kenny to put it. Restraints and seclusion. Okay, this is a new policy that's related to restraint of students that provide the specific steps required, mainly for IEP students. And so that's underlying part for each IEP student. We've been doing that for years, but we really need that policy. Make motion to approve the restraints and seclusion policy. Second. Motion by Kenny, second by Jennifer to approve the restraints and seclusion policy. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And David? Yes. Number six, suspension of students. Okay, this is a change that provides administration the ability to modify a case by case basis automatic suspensions for one year in possession of a firearm. So, what this is for, we've had several last year, not in our school, but several schools around. They may have been duck hunting that weekend before and they left the shotgun in the back seat of the pickup. Obviously, they shouldn't have it. Obviously, we need to do something, but I don't know. You're automatically gone for a year, and there's nothing we can do. This kind of modifies it where we can look at it on a case by case basis. Make a motion to approve the suspension of students policy. Motion by Kenny, second by Jennifer to approve the suspension. suspension of students policy. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And David? Yes. Number seven, disciplinary action for misuse of school bathrooms and changing facilities. And this is in addition to last year we had to do that where mainly this change is for uh, change the law that modifies when a coach can enter a locker room. So the main change is if the coach is of the opposite sex, the coach must be accompanied by at least one adult of the same sex as a student present. An adult can't be an 18 year old student, it's got to be an adult and then go in they check make sure we close and then they say come in basically that allows that coach the opposite sex uh, before during or after a school sponsored activity and just kind of clarify that school bathroom and changing facilities policy
was just for the coaches. Yeah, it just changed. The only thing that changed from what we have is that is that underlying part, like the suitable meeting room or area is not available. A coach may enter a locker room. That's what's changed. I make a motion that we approve the policy disciplinary action for this use of school bathrooms and changing the Second. Motion March in the first second by Q to approve the disciplinary action from issues of school bathrooms and changing facilities policy. Jennifer? Yes. Kenny? Yes. And David? Yes. Action topic I. Consideration of school resource, resource officer agreement with the City of Stigler Police Department for the 2023-2024 school year. Okay, we received a school security grant for it's for ninety-two thousand per year, and we can use that to hire a school resource officer, resource officer, or implement other safety measures like locks, windows, doors, and cameras. What I would like to propose is that we enter an agreement with the Stigler Police Department to have a full-time officer present in our school during the, uh, this next school year. And they will do the DARE program, other educational programs, drug and alcohol prevention programs, and other similar programs. And probably most importantly, they'll have a constant presence throughout the year while building relationships with the student, staff, and uh, parents. But I think this is a really great opportunity for us uh, to get a resource off. And this is 2000 per year for the next three years. Make a motion to approve the school resource officer agreement with the city of Stigler Police Department for 2023 2023. Motion by Kenny, second by Jennifer to approve the consider to approve the school resource officer agreement with the city of Stigler Police Department for the 2023 24 school year. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And David? Yes. Action topic J, consideration of the tree investments for the 2023 24 school year. Okay, this investment matures on August 29th, and they, uh, the banks will not quote us rates this early. And so what we need to do, if possible, is I need to approval to renew this investment at maturity date at the best available rate. So we'll go out to the banks in the area and try to get their best rate, and then we're just going to go with the best rate for 500000 
Motion by Kenny, seconded by Jennifer, to approve the kindergarten entry vestibule with Robert Zachary Logan at $46,700. Jennifer, yes. this is all as remembered. Yeah, I think Robert, we want to go back and check his numbers after we went through the bidding process and he looked at everybody else's numbers. Uh, the next one. That's all right. <laughs> Some type of bail consideration of bids for an elementary canopy project. Yeah, we received three bids for this project. The lowest bid was again from Robert Zachary, $57,515. The other two bids for, were for $168,000 and $108,560. And I think we need to accept the lowest bid. Where was this? I see the diagram exactly. Where is this coming from and going to? Hard to tell, but yeah. like this is the front of the grade school right here, like the main door. Okay, okay, so this so is just going kind of that side, kind of that drop off right? where they, they drop them off. And then here. Yeah, okay, right here is the main doors. This is this wide with the using that for the door. These right. are the main doors yeah. right here, so it's going to go down there. It's 10 feet 4 inches wide and it's 74 foot long. Okay. for a second of my Kenny to approve the elementary project with low bid from Robert Zachary for $57,515. Jennifer? Kenny? Yes. And David, yes. Excellent. Topic M, consideration of bids for the middle school canopy project. Okay, we received three bids for this project. The lowest bid was from Robert Zachary for $98,750. Other bids were $315,000. Two hundred nineteen thousand five hundred sixty. Uh, I do think we need to accept this bid. It is a lot of money, but they're these are large canopies. There's two different canopies. Uh, the total is about one hundred seventy-five foot long. Is it two or three? Twelve foot wide. It's two. Because here it looks like it's yeah. Here it's two. Yeah, that's that's some, that was a rough up before we went in here. This is. Definitely. That's the main entrance, right? Connects to the cafeteria. Right now, they just run in. This is from the fifth grade up the road. Okay. Fifth grade up the road, and then from the middle of the cafeteria. Trees died. It's basically, they've got a little shrub they all come around. This is 10 foot. Yeah, this one's 9 foot 4 inches. That's 52 foot long. And there was three bids. Robert Zachary was 43,460. Uh, other bid was for 90,000 and 66,000. I think we need to accept the lowest bid. For a second by Kenny to approve the high school community project with low bid of Robert Zachary for $43,460. Jennifer? Yes. Kenny? Yes. And David? Yes. At this time, we move to executive session. 
a proposed executive session to discuss and act upon the following business pursuant to 25 OS 307 B1 of the Open Meeting Act. Action Top 1 Discussion of the resignation of Cambridge Liner, Grade School Reading Lab Assistant, effective July 25, 2023. Discussion of the resignation of Stephanie Guthrie, Middle School Counselor, effective August 25, 2023. Discussion to employ a second to employ a second grade teacher for the 2023-24 school year. Discussion to employ a grade school teacher assistant for the 2023 school year. Five, discussion to employ Hannah Spearman as a certified adjunct teacher to teach science for the 2023-24 school year. Motion by Kenny, seconded by Jennifer to convene the executive session. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And David? Yes. Motion to return to open session, seconded by, by Kenny, seconded by Jennifer. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And David, what time? 6.28 p.m. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And David? Yes. Taking up the executive session by board president. Members present during the executive session were Kenny Whitson, Jennifer Turner, David Huggins. Superintendent Tom Kettles was also present for executive sessions. No votes, no motions or votes were taken during the session, executive session. Items uh, discussed during executive session was the resignation of Cameron Garner, a resignation of Stephanie Guthrie, a consideration to hire a second grade teacher, a consideration to hire a, a grade school teacher assistant. teacher to teach science for 2023-24 school year. Can I look this thing together? I make a motion that we accept the resignations of Cambry Gardner, grade school teacher assistant, effective July 2023, and the resignation of Stephanie Guthrie, middle school counselor, effective August 25th, 2023. Second. Motion by Jennifer, seconded by Kenny, to approve the resignation of Kim Garner, Middle School Reading Lab Assistant, effective July 25th, 2023, and the resignation of Stephanie Guthrie, Middle School Counselor, effective August 25th, 2023. Jennifer? Yes. Kenny? Yes. And David? Yes. I make a, a motion to employ Emily Bussey, uh, as a second grade teacher for 23 24 school year. Awesome. Motion by Kenny, seconded by Jennifer, to employ a second grade teacher. Emily Bussey, second grade teacher for the 23-24 school year. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And David? Yes. I make a motion that we employ Catherine Mew, the grade school teacher assistant for the 23-24 school year. Second. Motion by Jennifer, second by Kenny to hire Catherine Mew, grade school teacher assistant for the 23-24 school year. Jennifer? Yes. Kenny? Yes. And David? And David, yes. I make a motion to appoint Hannah Spearman as a certified adjunct teacher to teach science for the 23 24 school year. Motion to appoint Hannah Spearman as a certified adjunct teacher to teach the by, motion by Kenny, second by Jennifer. <laughs> Get it right. To appoint Hannah Spearman as a certified adjunct teacher to teach science, uh, teach science for the 23 24 school year. Kenny? Yes. New business. We have no new business. Make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Okay. Motion by Jennifer, second by Kenny, that we adjourn at 6.31 p.m. Jennifer.